Wow, she's everything. Motherfucker, I've been mortified, 45, feeling like a Mordecai. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. I don't have an outfit for the concert tonight. So much is going on. I'm like getting nervous now. <laughs> I just met Victoria. Y'all already know if I'm makeup free, I need to have a gloss on for these videos. Oh, why am I like this? Today is the day. September 18th will forever be a national holiday in my household because it is Victoria Monet Day. For those of you who have not seen me before, well, first of all, hi, I'm Deanna, I'm 24, I'm an actress, and I just recently moved back in with my parents. It's going pretty well. I am a huge Victoria Monet fan. Victoria Monet. Victoria Monet. Victoria Monet. You can you touch my bag? Yeah. I have loved her for a few years now. She got me through quarantine. Her music is incredible. I feel like she's completely underrated, so I am so excited to be going to her concert tonight. And I have meet and greet tickets, so I'm also meeting her too. I'm so excited to see her in Charlotte tonight. I'm going with my friend Jordan. We're gonna meet her. We should get a good spot to be able to see her well from the stage. And I, I've been looking forward to this day for a long time, so I'm really so happy it's finally happening. I just spent the morning editing. Winnie Wynn is right here. Hey, Benny. I'm headed to Duncan to get breakfast for me and my dad. We're gonna get cute later, so ignore the hair. Can I get a medium iced coffee with oat milk? And then can I do two pumpkin donuts? I'm all out of pumpkin donuts already, but I do have the munchkins. I'll do the munchkins then. Sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Thank you. Girl, no pumpkin donuts. Do I need to go to Target? No, I don't need to go to Target. Ugh. All right, all right. Okay, got my coffee. It'll do. I think I'm gonna put some of my brown sugar oat milk creamer in this though from Trader Joe's. And I got munchkins. Someone's jealous of my donuts. Yo, why did my dad just send me a cash app? That daddy daughter relationship. I don't need a man. <laughs> we have the best dad. We have the best dad. So, funny story. I don't have an outfit for the concert tonight. Now this is a very monumental moment, but I figured I would just kind of chill with that outfit. I am such a jeans girl. I just got two new pairs. One of them's from Zara. I think I'm gonna wear these. They're so cute on. I'll try them on for you guys, but they have like this tattered waistline. I actually didn't buy anything new for this and I really wanted to just revamp something I already have. I have a lot of different brown pieces of clothing, so it didn't make sense to buy something else brown. This brown dress, I got this, this. Furthering my point. Oh, also, I just got some new shoes from my mom. They're hand-me-downs. She has these Adidas, but they don't fit her exactly right, so she gave them to me. I'm gonna wear these tonight with my jeans. Keep it really cute and comfy. And in terms of shirts, I'm most likely gonna wear this brown bodysuit. I just saw a TikTok hack how to make a bodysuit into a crop top, so I really wanna try that with this. Oh, and I have this brown shirt, but again, the girls have seen this. It's from H&M, it's really cute, but no, I don't wanna wear that. Okay, well, these are our options. Most likely gonna wear this, but I want I wanna see if I can try to turn a dress into a shirt and we'll see what happens. Okay, bye. Snap them together up here. Tuck it behind this strap and you have a crop top. So what do we think? All right, and here are the Zara jeans. I won't give you guys the full look yet. Just a taste. They're pretty low waist, so I don't know. It's cute, casual. Okay, hear me out. Am I completely cuckoo for this? I feel like this is so Y2K. This is actually a halter dress, but I'm just wearing it upside down. Okay, I cinched the waist more. I cannot wear this like that. That's hilarious. But anyways, and I put the shoes on. I feel like it'd be so cute for the concert. I'm gonna text my sister, like I do in every situation. <laughs> Water. I don't know if I'm gonna drink today or not. It's up in there. Wow, she's everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm running out of glue. my trust When you're gonna make them the patterns on my wallet. I know this is giving clownery, but give me a second to fix it. Trust the process, okay? Cover up my face if I'm saying too much. You should call me. Get to know me. 
Oh my god, it's 3.35. Oh, I was already supposed to be gone. Yeah, they will. You just can't take like big DSLRs in. All right, guys, we are ready for the concert. I've got on all of my accessories details. I decided to go with this after all, the remix top, and I decided to put it with pink dunks instead of my Adidas, which I don't know how I feel. I still feel like maybe the Adidas look better, but we'll just go with it. It's the outfit. Curls are popping. Okay, I'm burning up, but my dad actually convinced me to change it to the Adidas, which I like better, and I feel like they match the vibe of the outfit better. So this is it. We gotta go. Energy see you're not ready for the one Energy's raw, I've never been glam Energy sure like bars will land like a missile straight to the plan Energy's more than everything man Alright y'all, I'm in Uptown, we made it, it's 5.08 The meet and greet starts at 5.30 but I'm like right around the corner I didn't explain really what my plans were today but my friend Jordan came in to see the concert with me We are both meeting Victoria so we're about to meet each other there in the front We were gonna get lunch slash dinner before but we just did not have any time Like I was running super late, he was only running a little late but ended up like pretty much getting at the same time I did. So this is the vibe. Oh my god, y'all Jordan's here. <laughs> Getting in here was a freaking mess. We had to turn back because he was like, you can't bring your camera in. Are they you taking your other camera? Yeah, they will. So I'm vlogging for you guys on my phone. Are we at point five? Yes, we are. Okay, vlogging for you guys on my phone. So it is what it is. Thank you. Oh, I had a top mouth fun It was just so much is going on. I couldn't vlog for y'all. But we got our little pack. Energy's mad, don't mess with the ram Certain things in life gotta overstand That's disappointing, don't do this man With your energy, yeah, can't do this man Energy, see yeah, like a sizzling pan We're like near the front of the side right now I'm like getting nervous now I wasn't nervous before, but now that we're getting closer What do I say? Energy, energy, energy one Guys, I just met Victoria I'll talk all about it later, but she was so sweet
And then I, I will tell y'all that, okay? Full like, dancing, able to right, do Right, voice control. <laughs> so go check out Victoria Monet's music. 
I'm so mad she didn't perform at the VMAs. Like, I'm really pissed. Right? Because they could have had that and chose not to. Yeah. That was crazy. My voice is gone. Mine is too. I know. It's gone. So we had such a good time guys i have my camera back yeah you can see the quality is way better oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> they wouldn't let me take my camera in i was they like, like they let someone they let this girl yeah she had a camera this girl was in front of us she had a little camcorder yeah wow he was like sorry you can't take that in dirty dirty yeah. i'm just trying to show the people i really Money. am that was it anyways <laughs> Hello, hello, hello! I didn't want to end this vlog without talking about the moment you all have been waiting for, which was me meeting Victoria Monet. Guys, oh, first off, I'm wearing the merch. Eh, eh, eh. This is the last shirt left. I think I said that before, but it has the tour dates on the back. If you think my background looks crazy, I'm currently at work. I'm in a musical right now, I'm a professional actor. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing a show right now, Beautiful the Carol King Musical at North Carolina Theater. But anywho, I did want to talk to you guys real quick about what it was like to meet Miss Monet. I wasn't able to film our exchange, but... She was just so sweet, you guys. I walked into the room, because we each had to go in one at a time, everyone who was meeting her. I walk in, she's finishing up with the last person. They're still talking, I'm just standing there like, try not to freak out. And then the person leaves, and then I just am face to face with Miss Victoria. And I was like, oh my God, Victoria. She's like, hi. And we like hug each other immediately. She was so sweet, smelled amazing, looked amazing. I mean, as you guys can see in the photo, like homegirl came to kill. She was not playing games that day, hair, makeup, everything on point. So I tell her, I'm like, you look so pretty. And she's like, thank you, you too. I love your outfit, looking at my brown. And I was like, oh my gosh, girl, like you told us to show up in our brown for the Jaguar tour. So I had to come correct so she starts laughing and then I just like get so nervous I start just talking about my outfit I was like oh you know this is actually a dress but I turned it upside down and I'm like yapping at this point but she's like nodding her head and laughing she's like oh my god like that's so cool and like original that you did that I was like thank you and then we just turned around and took the picture and then I told her like have an amazing show and she said thank you and then I left now the exchange was amazing but I wish I said everything I wanted to say so if this video happens to find Victoria or her team I just want to say Say, Victoria you are my favorite artist you have made so many of my favorite songs I think you're so criminally underrated the VMAs did you real dirty by not having you perform because they missed out on such an amazing amazing like the performance quality guys the concert was incredible and if she had performed to the VMAs it not only would have been amazing exposure for her but it would have been amazing exposure even for the award show just people like who don't know her music as well whatever <sighs> It's been like two months and I'm still mad. You're so incredible, Victoria. I love your music, your artistry is everything. I think you're so original and just no one is doing what you're doing right now. You're in your own lane. You're an amazing singer, songwriter. The mic was on. The mic was on. I made a couple friends in the crowd with my friend Jordan. It was just a really nice time and I'm so glad that I was able to go and get meet and greet tickets to meet my favorite artist in the world. So I just am so grateful I had that experience. I have met all of my favorite, not met, well, I've seen all of my favorite artists this year. I saw Drake at Dreamville, Beyonce back in August in Atlanta, Maita, who that's another one y'all need to get on. She's up and coming. Saw Mayta in Brooklyn and then I saw Victoria a few weeks later in Charlotte. So this has just been an amazing year for concerts, for me seeing my favorite artists, music coming back post COVID. A lot of tours got postponed, including Victoria. So it just was amazing to experience her music live with other people who also love her. I was there and have that memory forever. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like what you see, please be sure to comment, subscribe, like this video, all the things. It really helps me out. If you guys wanna go back and watch other concert vlogs of mine feel free i will have it linked down below i love you guys so so much thank you always for supporting me and i look forward to seeing you in the next one these flowers they were for me but they're also for you love you guys so much bye Energy's here, you're not ready for the wham Energy's raw, I've never been glam Energy's sure like bars will land Like a missile straight to the plan Energy's more than everything, man Energy's mad, don't mess with the